Do you want to learn how to connect an OP1 and an iPad? All you got to do is keep watching. It's another tutorial time with Brad. And now, here's Brad. That's me. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Brad. If you're new around here, I make music. And today I'm going to show you how to connect to your OP1 and your iPad. All right, so we have the OP1 turned on. We've got the iPad turned on. We've got the Apple camera connector kit that's plugged into the powered USB hub. Inside the USB hub, I have my OP1 and I have my bigger keyboard hooked up as well. And we've got the charging cable for the iPad. So I'm going to use Beatmaker 3 and we're going to create a new session go in here to the little wrench guy, audio, MIDI devices. Everything that I have plugged into this powered USB hub is now being read in my input and output devices. You'll see we've got the OP1 MIDI device, we've got the VI49, which is my bigger MIDI keyboard plugged in over here to the side. Let's close out of that. Let's take our bank that's created by default, assign a plug into it. We're gonna go and assign the Moog Model D do you guys say Moog or Moog? I feel like I heard Trent Reznor say Moog, so maybe we should just go with what Trent Reznor says. Now we've got this Moog loaded up. And before I hit record on the cameras here, I set up a little chord progression, which I believe this synth is a mono, so let's change it to a poly synth. And I like this cup and string speaker. Yeah, let's see what this chord progression sounds like with the Moog. So that's the main gist of getting everything talking to each other. Just plug it into a USB hub and a camera connector kit and your iPad and OP1 should be basically good to go. I have, however, noticed some issues. The main issue being I am limited to only these 25 keys. I can't figure out how to get the OP1 to change octaves, either with the arrow keys on the OP1 or on the octave selection on the actual app. It's limited to just these 25 keys. So that sort of sucks, but I have the 49 key MIDI controller plugged in as well. So I do have a little bit more range. Now we've got to go through and sync these up because they are talking to each other. But if I want to create a song, like I'm at a BPM of 69.9 for some reason on the OP1 and we're at a BPM of 90 on Beatmaker. So let's close out of the plugin Make sure Ableton Link is turned on in Beatmaker 3, and we go over to MIDI Link Sync. This is reading everything that's plugged into the powered USB hub as well. We're going to take some link information out of Beatmaker 3 and convert it into MIDI. So we select the OP1 MIDI device because we want to send MIDI information to the OP1 now. That's good to go. This is already defaulting at 120, so I'm going to tab this a bunch of times to change my tempo just so you can kind of get an idea of when it works. Beatmaker 3 was at 90, this is at 69.9. Now this is at 85. So let's start MIDI clock, 85. And OP1 is now at 85. Let's check Beatmaker. Beatmaker also at 85. So now everything is in sync. So you'll notice when I double the tempo in Beatmaker, the OP1 follows with it. Let's half it. Or let's just tap out a tempo. So that's 80. And we're going to keep following it. We're at 80. So that is the basics of how to get the OP1 and the iPad talking to each other. All right, so let's recap real quick. In order to do this, you're gonna need, let's say four things. You're gonna need four things to do this. You need an iPad or an iOS device. It doesn't have to be an iPad. You're gonna need an OP1. You're gonna need the Apple brand camera connector kit and make sure it's the Apple version because the knockoffs do not work. I'm cheap, I've tried, trust me, it ain't gonna work. And you're gonna need a USB cable to connect them. Once you've got those things, you're gonna be good to go. You can get more complicated and throw in a powered USB hub. You could use external MIDI devices, you can use audio interfaces, basically everything you could hook up to a computer, you can hook up to your iPad using this camera connector kit. Yeah, and that's it.
that's all you need to do. You'll need the MIDI Link Sync app or an app similar to it if you can find one that's free. I think this one was 99 cents. And this will convert the Ableton Link information from Beatmaker or whatever iOS DAW you might be using that hopefully has Ableton Link. And that's gonna convert that information into MIDI information and send that to your external MIDI devices. Pretty cool. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found that information useful. If you did, hit that like button down below and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. There's gonna be some more tutorials coming in the future, some more 10 minute Tuesdays, more jams, more general music related content coming at you soon. So subscribe if you wanna see more of that. If you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button and let me know in the comments below what you didn't like because I do wanna make these videos better. But other than that, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.